everyone and welcome to this four phase flow tutorial done with Neptune CFD. The different phases are liquid water, steam, solid particles and bubbles. In this case the solid particles will react on contact with water and form gas. There will be a conjugate heat transfer between the fluid domain in green and the solid domain in blue. So the simulation will be done by coupling Neptune CFD with CIRTES. So first of all you need to create a study called four phase flow. Dash C the Neptune case name. Then double dash CIRTES equal the CIRTES case name. Then copy from the installation directory all the meshes into the mesh directory. For the Neptune CFD case, the meshes used will be from M1 to M6. Then go in your Neptune case data directory and launch the shell script Neptune CFD. Once the graphical user interface is opened, go in the mesh and add the different meshes M1 to M6. Then go on preprocessing and add a phase joining between the six meshes. Then go on boundary zones and add the following zones with the following labels and the following selection criteria. Then click on Calculation Features and check Eulerian Multiphase with the User Defined option and check Activate Heat and Mass Transfer. Then on Main Fields, change the label for Water and for Steam. Then add two new fields for the Particles and for the Gas. Don't forget to change the phase for the particles to solid and the phase for the gas to gas. Then both particles and gas are dispersed with the water for carrier phase. In this case water and steam are compressible and the energy is resolved for the four fields. Then on turbulence models Choose a K-Epsilon model for both water and steam and choose small inclusions for the reverse coupling of particles and don't forget to choose the separate faces option. On body forces, add the gravity on the Y components. Then click on closure modeling. For the water-steam interaction, nothing to change anything. Then click on the water particles interaction, change everything to none except for the drag. And for the water gas interaction, change the turbulent dispersion to GTD model and switch the wall forces to none. On interfacial area for the particles, choose the interfacial area transport for model with a default diameter of 1 mm. And for the gas field, Choose a constant model with a default diameter of 5 mm. Then click on Interfacial Enthalpy Transfer. And for the Direct Contact Interface Energy Transfer model, choose Gas Particle. And for the Liquid Vapor Enthalpy Transfer model, for the field A, choose the following model. For the Wall Transfer Parameters, Choose Nucleic Boiling and choose Y plus for the wall transfer model with a value of 250. Then click on Particle Interactions. Here no need to change anything. On Volume Conditions, check Initialization. Then click on All Cells. 
for water and steam the cathar method is used and for both gas and particles choose user properties so first for the particles thermodynamics properties click on temperature let the temperature value as it is and choose the following properties same thing for the gas field here the gas density is calculated with the NC user physical properties subroutine then click on the initialization tab for the pressure choose a value of 7 bars for both water and steam the volume fractions and pressure initialization are calculated with the NC user initialization subroutine For the initial temperature, choose 420 kelvins. So for the steam field, initially there's no velocity. For the volumic fraction, the subroutine is used. And for the thermal initialization, choose a saturation enthalpy. Then for the particles field, choose a zero velocity for each component. Initially, there's no particles, so set a fraction of zero. And for the thermal initialization, choose enthalpy with the following value. Finally, for the gas field, choose a zero velocity for each component, set a fraction of zero, and for the thermal initialization, the subroutine will be used. Then click on boundary conditions and change the following natures for the different boundary conditions then click on the first one, vapor inlet set a reference pressure of 7 bars and for the water field set a fraction of 0 and a thermal flux of 0 for the steam field, set a fraction of 0.9 and choose saturation enthalpy. Then for particles, let the fraction to 0 and same thing for gas. Then click on particles inlets. For the water field, choose a fraction of 0 with a velocity of 0. Same thing for the steam field. Then for the particles field, choose a fraction of 0 0.004. For the velocity, choose mass flow rate with a value of 0 0.002 kg per second. And for the direction, choose user profile. For the direction, choose negative y. Then choose the following enthalpy for the thermal properties. And finally for the gas field, set the different values to zero. Then click on the water inlet boundary condition.
For the water field, set a fraction of 1. For the velocity, set a norm of 1 meter per second and change the direction to negative 0.4 in the x component, negative 0.8 in the y component, and 0 in the z component. And then for the thermal properties, set the following temperature. Then for the steam field, set the following properties with a fraction of 0. Same thing for the particles and also for the gas field. For the vapor outlet, set a reference pressure of 7 bars. For the water field, set the fraction to 0. For the steam field, set a fraction of 1 with saturation enthalpy for the thermal properties and let the values to zero for the particles in the gas field then for the water outlet set a reference pressure of a very low value to be sure that the subroutine is taken into account and set a fraction of one for the water field Then for the three other fields, let the values to zero. For the world boundary condition, nothing to change. And then for the couplet wall, change the thermal properties to surface coupling. And set the name of the surface case. Then click on time settings and choose an adaptive time step with a time analysis of 10 seconds then on post-processing set an output every 10 time steps then go in the writer tab and set an output every 0.1 second then click on the monitoring points tab and add three probes with the following coordinates You can then save your simulation and go back in your terminal window. Go in your source directory and copy from the Neptune CFD installation directory all the sources. The details of all the subroutines are given in the tutorial PDF. You can find it on the Code Saturn website. Then you need to go in your CRTS coupling directory. You need to source the CRTS environment and launch the graphical user interface. Then click on New Data File. Once the graphical user interface is opened, change the case title. And check conjugate e transfer. On file names, you need to add the solid mesh. You can add a mesh with the med extension. It will be automatically converted to a SYR extension. Then, under Conduction, click on Initial Conditions. Set a temperature of 220 degrees 
with the reference negative 1. Be careful the temperature is given in degrees Celsius. Then click on boundary conditions. Go in the flux condition tab and set a value of 0 with the reference 5. Then on physical properties, set the following values with the reference negative 1. So these properties are given in the whole solid domain. On conjugate heat transfer, you need to write the Neptune CFD case name. So here, Neptune case with the reference 4. Then on control, set a very high value for the number of time steps so the stopping criteria is from the Neptune CFD calculation and set the time steps of 1 millisecond then on output check 3D field and set an output every 0.1 seconds then save your case under the name for faceflow.seed then go in your for faceflow directory and you need to edit the run.cfg file You can set the number of processes for the Neptune case. Same thing for the Sirtes case. And set dash V E N S. So the post processing files are converted to the NSight format. And for Param, you need to change the Sirtes file name to forfaceflow.seed. You can also launch the shell script Neptune CFD with the file run.cfg so it opens a graphical user interface to change the properties of the run.cfg file. You can find all the parameters you just set. Then you just need to launch the shell script Neptune CFD with the command run. If you open the new terminal, you need to source the surface environment. Once it's done, you can open Paraview to post-process the results. So we can display the time analysis by adding a time filter. And then we can see the evolution, the volumic fraction of water. Same thing for the volumic fraction of particles. We can also check the particles diameter evolution. Then we can add the results from the surface case and see the evolution of the temperature inside the solid. So here the temperature is given in degrees Celsius.